Welcome back everybody. My name is Dave Hayes and this is Hayes Tech. Uh, this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech. And I do mean anything. For those of you that's been watching any of my videos over uh, Christmas and New Year's break, I know that I got a Christmas present from my wife, which was the Sony Handycam and it's the HDR CX440. I'm recording on it on this camera right here. Now the Sony Handycam is probably one of the coolest video cameras I've had a chance to use because of the image quality. I love the image quality I get out of Sony cameras. Also for those of you that have been following the channel, uh, you know that I just purchased a Canon 90D which is recording right here. And I was struggling between getting the Canon 90D and the Sony A6400. And the reason I was struggling so much was because the image quality that Sony gives you is just phenomenal. I love it. It's crystal clear image quality. And you're going to see in this video that the Sony Handycam, while not having the same sensor as the A6400, still has that really nice crisp Sony image. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Sony Handycam HDR CX440. So don't go away. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Okay, well the first thing I want to get across uh, to everybody is this is not going to be an unboxing. I unboxed this over Christmas time and was using it. And while I was using it, it really surprised the hell out of me. This is a phenomenal camera. Um, now, it only shoots in 1080p, but it does shoot in 1080p 60 frames per second if you want to go that route. I found that when I left this camera on totally automatic settings, I was getting images like what you're seeing right here. And I could actually zoom in a little bit closer and get a tighter shot, but uh, I actually kind of like this view. And I'm not doing anything different with my lighting. Normally, if I would be running my Canon video cameras, I would have to really brighten it up. And even while doing that, indoors, the image quality that I was getting out of my Canon video cameras were not good at all. Um, the colors were lacking. <laughs> they looked really bad. But once you got those Canon cameras outside, the image quality was phenomenal, to say the least. And the same goes with this. When you get this outside and start shooting, it looks nice. The, one of the only things that I don't like is that I am limited to 1080p and it does not have 4K. But I'm shooting in 1080p on my Canon M50 right now. And the Canon M50 in 1080p I think is one of the best 1080p interchangeable lens cameras on the market. I love it. Uh, it's super small and it has the interchangeable lenses and if I throw my adapters on it I can run all of my EF and EFS lenses on it. Um, you know with some caveats you know losing certain features but those lenses will work on this. So the advantage you're getting you know with this Canon over the Sony camcorder is that with the Canon, I can put on, you know, a plethora of lenses uh, on this camera. And um, I do think that maybe the uh, clarity uh, definitely is a lot better on the Canon. One thing I noticed about camcorders, at least the lower priced camcorders, is the clarity is a little soft. Um, it, it's better on the Sony. Uh, I've noticed, now why, there. I've noticed on the Sony camera that the clarity is a little bit better, um, but you know I did find out that on all of the camcorders that I've tried so far, uh, the clarity on them have been nowhere near what I can get with you know like my M50 or now my 90D. I mean the image quality I'm getting out of my 90D is just phenomenal. Now I'm shooting in 4K. On the 90D and I'm gonna upload it in 4k but all the other cameras are shooting in 1080p 
Now, I was going to do an unboxing, but like I said, since I've used the camera already, and I already unboxed it, I, I decided I wasn't going to do an unboxing with this. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about the camera a little bit, and I figured I'd show it to you. I'd put it up on a, uh, uh, on a tripod, kind of do a 360 degree around it, and just point out some of the really cool features on it. And then we would go ahead and jump to some images that I shot, uh, both indoors, which of course you're saying right now, and some other images that I took back during Christmas time when I first got the camera. I will be segueing them into the video here uh, so you guys can see what the quality looks like. Quickly, just to go through it, um, it is a Sony HDR CX440. Um, it does come with a 9.2 megapixel still image, so while shooting pictures, uh, you get 9.2 megapixels. Okay, now one of the uh, other features about this one is it comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage. So even if you don't have an SD card, you can still shoot with it. You know, you have 8 gigabytes, which is quite a bit of room, especially when you're shooting in 1080p. It also connects via USB to my laptop, which is which makes it very easy for uploading the images and video off of the camcorder and onto my laptop for editing. So that's really nice. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi and it uh, has a it has the Carl Zeiss lens on it which is another reason why uh, the image quality is so good and from what I read it's uh, the processor is backlit and so that's supposed to help out a little bit it does shoot in 1080p 60 frames per second again uh, when you do shoot 60 frames per second you lose a lot of features um, but you know it is what it is so if you want to shoot slow motion with it you can now for the things I did not like about the camera, and I'm going to bring this up right now. The biggest thing that I did not like about this camera is the fact that you can't hook a microphone into it. So I can't run with an external microphone. Now the audio that you're getting out of it is pretty good, but again, it's just camcorder audio. And that is not very good audio. So what do you say we go ahead and get some close-ups of this camera. We'll do a 360 around it. I'll show you some of the things on it. Uh, and I'll talk about some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like. So let's go ahead and jump into how this camera looks, do a walk around, and yeah, let's just go ahead and segue to that. Okay, as you guys can see, uh, here it is. Now you're looking at the right side or the side with the handle. Now one of the things that I like about this is the fact that the cord that plugs into your computer is tucked away right in the handle. It's nice. You don't have to install any extra programs or anything like that. You plug this into your computer. If you're running Windows 10, it'll pick it up and you'll be able to access all of the files you have both internally and on your SD card. So again, on this side, you have your lens cap opener right there. And it does not have a power on or power off switch. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this around to the other side and get it in frame. Now this is the important side. This is the side with the uh, flip out door. Now on top here, you notice this button right here. This is to snap a picture. So if you're shooting, you press this button down, it'll take a picture. This button, you press it this way or that way, is your zoom. Uh, battery is actually on the bottom. I'll show you that as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the door open. Now, once I flip this open, it's going to go ahead and power up. It's just the way it works. So it is now powered up. And then I want to point to some features inside. Okay, so there are really very minimal controls inside. You really have no buttons in here. Uh, the only thing you really get is your ports. Like this is the HDMI port. And then, of course, this is where you put your SD card at right here. It takes a micro SD card and you have to have the camera powered on in order to uh, work it. Now, this actually will snap in both ways, upside down and right side up. The way to remember this is the little lip that comes on these cards goes up, okay? So always put the, the lip up, push it in with your fingernail until it, oops, until it clicks into place. That's pretty much it for inside the camera. Remember, like I said before, this Sony camera does not have a lot of controls on it. Um, most of the controls are on the screen. Uh, you will access those controls by, um, by buttons too. The screen's not touchscreen, which I hate. 
I wish it had a touch screen. Come on, Sony. I mean, even their... One thing Sony is not very good on, even their A6400s, one of the reasons I went with the Canon was the fully touch screen capability on the Canon 90D. Everything on this camera is going to be done from the lens. There are two buttons on the lens. Uh, this button here is this button here is both a button and a toggle, a toggle switch. Um, by pressing the button, it'll bring up your settings. And then you can toggle through your settings like that, and you can go into your settings, press it again. You go into your settings okay so to get out of this you would take this little button and pull it this way to get over into the side portion of it and then you just go up until you hit the X hit the button you're there and to get out of this screen all you do is take the same uh, little lever and just push it up this way pivot it up until you get to the X then push directly in on it, and you're back to the screen again. Um, I'm not gonna go over the settings on this camera. It's, I'm telling you right now from my experience, I wouldn't touch anything except for changing your, uh, like, you know, if you wanna go from 1080p 60 frames per second to 1080p 30 frames, um, or if you wanna change, you know, the mode that you're shooting in, maybe that. I would just shoot and use this camcorder fully automatic. Because I found, at least in my use, that every time I tried to use manual settings, it just looked terrible. Uh, it could just be me, but from some of the other videos I've watched online, other people had the same issue. But when I shoot this camera on full automatic, it is phenomenal. Especially outside, it's just, it's gorgeous. Now when you shoot inside, just make sure you have really good lighting. If you have good lighting like what I'm using right now, this camcorder shoots really nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spin it around let you see the front of it. There is the lens. Now, by pushing this little lever over here up or down, closes the lens cap up, see? And again, here you can see the zoom on it. Okay, so as you guys can see, watch the screen right here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom. And it'll zoom right in. I mean, that's a 30 times zoom, 30 times optical zoom, not digital, optical zoom. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out to its zero mode. Um, again, this is if you want to take a picture, just push. And it just shot a picture. I'm going to go ahead and spin it around, kind of give you guys a 360 shot of it. This is the battery compartment. Now, it does not, the battery is buried completely in the camera. And the way you access that is there is a little a door panel here. Pull the panel to the back. It flips down. The battery is right here. You just kind of push over on that little uh, thing there and the battery pops out. It takes really tiny batteries. But from what I found, the batteries actually last pretty long. So uh, they're working good. I went and purchased four extra batteries. So I have five batteries for this. But guys, I can't think of anything else to show you on this. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back to the video. Okay, we are now doing a vlogging test. Um, so you can see what it looks like outside. This camera does have image stabilization on it. And I'm trying to not look at this screen and look at the camera. So I'm not going to make this very long. Uh, I, just wanted to make, I just wanted to keep this to a nice, a short, like vlog uh, type situation. And let you guys see what you could do with this camera now I am currently recording on my microphone right here it is running to my Canon 90d over there so you guys can see me on the 90d right there so what I'm gonna do now is let you hear what the audio sounds like through the camera audio test one two three audio test one two three uh, this is what the audio would sound like if I did not use uh, any kind of external recorder, okay? But I am using my Canon 90D. Okay, let's go back to the Canon 90D to get rid of this wind. As you guys can see, this thing just has awesome video quality. Um, especially if I deliberately try to keep the sun, you know, out of the shot, uh, keep it off to my side. Um, Sony just does a fantastic job 
with color correction um, and just just giving a good image and uh, from the editing that I've been doing so far on this video I can tell you that the image quality that I'm seeing indoors the video quality looks really good so there I am on my Canon 90D I don't know if I can film me filming me filming me yeah there's my camera Okay, this is the Sony Handycam HDR-CX440. It takes 9.2 megapixel pictures and 2.2 megapixel video. And believe me guys, the difference between picture megapixels and video megapixels are major. I used to think, wow, it only takes 2.2 megapixel images. Yeah, <laughs> that is video camera language and... Uh, camera language is completely different and in the video world a video megapixel is like 10 times larger or even more than that guys I'm not an expert on this but I do know that the megapixels out of a video camera are huge compared to a megapixel out of a standard camera like my Canons and that I'm gonna try the zoom on it and I can't really see the screen that well too much sun but there's a squirrel over there by that tree and we're going to try zooming in because there is a squirrel over there there he is I can tell you I sold my Canon R800. Now, the other camera that I had, my other Canon camera, uh, I couldn't get what I was asking for. People wanted to give me like $35 for it, and I wasn't selling it for $35 with the four extra batteries and the accessories that came with it. So I decided to keep it. I'm probably going to give it to my granddaughter, or I may even give it away. I don't know yet. But as far as camcorders go, I love this Sony camcorder and I'm hanging on to it um, for as long as I can. Uh, you know, when I'm shooting HD or 1080p, this camcorder does a phenomenal job. Um, it would be nice if they would have added an external microphone on it, Sony. Come on. You know, that would have been awesome, but they didn't. Uh, but I can work with that, you know. It's not a total loss. 
if you are looking for a cheap video camera that starts right around the $150 range, I can highly recommend this Sony camcorder. Um, this thing is just awesome. And I hope you guys thought the same thing. I mean, you know, looking at the video footage that I shot and uploaded here on this video. So I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can. I know, guys, my videos run long, and I apologize for that. And I'm probably going to start using uh, this video camera here more and more as a B-roll camera and as a second or even, you know, third camera. I like to use three cameras, uh, Canon 90D, uh, Canon M50, and <laughs> the, uh, the Handycam over here. Um, so, yeah, I like to use three cameras in my shots. Just kind of, you know, breaks up the video and makes it look a little more professional for us unprofessionals. So again, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, be looking for more videos to come. And I just want to thank those of you that are new to the channel. I really do appreciate it that you decided that you wanted to subscribe to my channel. Uh, for those of you that want to see more personal videos uh, and, you know, like videos that don't make it to this channel, uh, check out my channel, Life Post Stroke. Uh, that channel is more of a channel related to uh, the, the two strokes that I've had. Uh, and again, any video that doesn't make it to this channel. Videos like fishing and when Noah and I go for walks. Um, we also have another channel called Noah's Ark. And that channel is going to be basically um, videos of us going out looking for snakes, uh, amphibians, animals you know uh stuff like that out in, out in the woods that channel is very new right now but i am starting to make videos and uploading uh, to that channel so you may be interested in that uh, it's kind of new i've only got you know f i think like five or six videos uploaded but i am working on uploading videos to that channel as well so you know if you want to see more on me and the stuff that i do from day to day check out those two other channels Again, I just want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This is an awesome camera, I'm telling you. You guys need to go out and get one. All right, now we're out of here. See ya.